Analytics, we're back for another draft, and this time we're drafting the months of the year, which means nothing will be left off. We're drafting every stinking month if you're unfamiliar with the format. I'm going to be having the first overall pick. We're doing a snake order, as God intended. And I will go first. You will go second and third, Alex. I will go fourth and fifth. And I'm okay. very passionate about these months, let me tell you. Everybody's saying there's an easy choice for the worst month, and I don't know what that is. Oh, well, I'll tell you, I'm very passionate about what, what month I don't want to end up with. So I guess we'll find out like about it when, it when it gets here. But okay. with the first overall pick, I'm going to take December. I think December oh. is easily the <laughs> best on. month of the year. Not only does it end the year as it should, it, it is like dessert. It has Christmas is winter weather for some parts of the country which if like if you're like me and you just hate snow then and i live in arizona if i want to go see snow i'll go to the mountain it's a short little drive most times i don't because i think snow sucks but it literally concludes the holiday season mm. everyone's happy it's cheerful it's christmas movies Fight me, best movies of all time. Like, there are hard, there there are a lot of good, like Elf. Fight me on this. Elf is the best Christmas movie of all time. At me, I think it is. Like, kind of is. I mean, it, it's not out of contention. It's not. It's not. It's a. It should be a top three. To me, I think it's number one. Me and my wife actually have a hotly debated uh, debate about that because she loves. Uh, what is it? Chris, is it Christmas story? Like the old one? Oh yeah. 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 That's, that's, With the kid no that has one. like the, uh, the BB gun. I was just a home alone type of guy, but of yeah. course I was, I mean, I'm younger too. Well, hot take. I hate home alone. <laughs> really? Yeah. I, okay. I, I found myself coach. just sat on my headphones. <laughs> so I always found myself rooting for the burglars. I hate, I hated Macaulay Culkin. I don't know what it was. Just it wasn't it wasn't my cup of tea, dude. Just All right. So when we do the um, Christmas movie draft, <laughs> you know I ain't taking it. <laughs> yeah, I know it's uh, my sixth election. Okay. So, Alex, so you got number two. I got December. I'm gonna let Gojo out. Real quick, I gotta give a shout out to today's sponsor, Underdog Fantasy. I absolutely love Underdog Fantasy because I love football, and now that the football season is far and away it doesn't mean my betting season has to be because they do all kinds of sports whether it's baseball basketball esports even they got you covered whether that's weekly best ball or my favorite higher lower on player props so if you sign up at underdog fantasy using promo code bro schmo then they will give you a first time deposit up to 250 dollars that's right that's right, that's right, that's right, that's right. So if you're going to go and bet, bet with Underdog Fantasy. Use promo code BROSHMO. Take advantage of this offer. But please, bet responsibly and bet within your means. So the thing is, I know what month I'm very terrified of you drafting because it's my birth month. And I love especially going to like more party cities during this month. So I'm going to draft it early. I know this is way too early for March to get drafted, but I'm drafting March because I think St. Patty's Day is one of the most amazing holidays. Sometimes Easter. I'm pretty sure Easter, is that not also it's, potentially in March? It's, oh, it does change year to year. Some Because wasn't yeah. this year, it was the last week of March. Yeah, so potentially even you got Easter in there. Isn't so you get some Kentucky excitement. Derby in March? I don't know. I don't know horse for, racing. Yeah. I, I, my dad um, loves but, horse racing. But um, for my 21st birthday, I ended up going to New Orleans. And I'm actually going back oh, it's this cool. year. Fun fact, I'm going to New Orleans in mid-July. Uh, and it was awesome. I mean, the parades that they have is just phenomenal. I think Mardi Gras, is that also? That's early March, right? No, it's February. It's uh, after Fat Tuesday. Or no, Good it's call. Fat Tuesday. Yeah, it's Fat Tuesday, and then you have yeah. uh, whatever Wednesday is. I don't know. I'm not Catholic. 
I, I don't know either. Um, but regardless, you know, it's a city like their uh, St. Patty's Day parade was awesome. It's a reason to be able to have like a party on the night before my birthday. So that's cool. Even though I don't party before my birthday, it's still fun to at least have that in there. Um, you know, I'm part Irish as well. So gotta love that. Big fan. And, you know, I just simply can't say no to loving it for my birthday. So March is my first overall selection. Uh, my second overall selection is actually going to be October. Sangi highlighted this in uh, in the chat right here, but you know it's a perfect hybrid time between you know summer, autumn, like winter. It's like right there where it the weather starts the looking. holiday season. It starts the holiday season. It, it was my number two. Terrible. Yeah, it's the weather is bearable. Um, you have Halloween, which is super fun. Talk about another time to get together, have a great time, and then. Um, you know, I think that's before midterms for a lot of people who are in school because midterms usually around um, Thanksgiving time. So, well, not Thanksgiving. That's like end of this year projects. Maybe it's during midterm season. I don't care. I don't go to school anymore. I <laughs> uh, don't have to deal with that shit anymore. But we also have football. It's just a fun time. I mean, I'm pretty sure that it, if Madden ever actually gets good again, uh, then Ultimate Team, you have the most feared. Those cards arguably my favorites so yeah no october is a great pick i think it starts the holiday season it's no. honestly the best i think some of the best weather mm. you, it, i have my next two i'm praying you don't take them uh i don't know because okay knowing that you have two picks after mine this this makes it tough i feel like i'm gonna have to like you know what? No, I th I think I'm just going to I'm just going to stay true to my board. Uh, I'm going to take September. Oh, that's a good one. September starts essentially college football starts at the beginning of September, yep. maybe first week of August, but eh. it mm -hmm. it's in full force. No or uh the NFL starts, football's back. It's a yep. great time. I think that's where some of the good weather is. Though I think October, the closer you get to winter, you get like, oh, it's short sleeves and pants. Mm -hmm. That's just a nice time of year. September right. kind of like brings that in a little bit. Uh, for some people, it's when school starts. I'm out of school, so I don't even care. <laughs> so sucks to suck, guys. Sorry. Sucks to suck. Yeah, but it, football's back. It literally, it, it it is when football returns. It's it's a great time of year. So I'm going September. Yeah. Oh, Expect that. this one's tough. I feel like I have a guarantee of one of my next two months. I'm excited yeah, about that. I think I'm actually going to, I'm going to, I'm going to skip what's next on my board. Uh oh, and I'm going to go take April. Mm, April. Okay, you got April fools. <laughs> I do love that. You have the draft. Uh, you have the draft. That was actually a big reason why. I love the I draft. To me, that's Christmas 2.0. Yeah, uh, you're still sweet. like near in the midst of like the off season. I know it like starts typically mid March, but you, it, yeah. you still have you still have final moves and whatnot, like the second and third waves of free agency. Uh, yeah. you have Easter. The weather. That's what I think. That's really when the weather starts getting better because like better. You're just done with winter at that point. And then like yep. my March, it starts getting a little bit better, but it really doesn't hit that crescendo until April begins. So I'm gonna I'm gonna go with April because I felt like I needed to get a warm-ish month in there. I respect that. The beginning of baseball season, that's right. Mm -hmm. April rain? Not from not where I'm from. <laughs> I mean Texas gets slammed with rain. Dude, we had 70 mile or 80 mile per hour gusts with um torrential downpours here Alley. like the last week it was insane yeah i don't know if i just froze for you, you did but uh on a side note my sister's Alley. birthday's in april so that actually oh. yeah nice, that. nice my sister's detail. birthday's in october i didn't even think about that hey look at that <laughs> we don't care i mean we don't you were born we on that care. day congratulations <laughs> look at that <laughs> Look All at right. that. All right, buddy. Um, you are, okay. You are next so, on the board. I'm going to go November for my next one. Yeah, that was uh, the one. Continuing this. That was the one I yeah, was going to do. Like turkey season. 
Yeah, I, I was going to um, take you know, November. That's when I was like, ah, that's too many cold months. I got to call an audible here. It's a good pick, Alex. Right, right. Um, obviously, Thanksgiving's huge. I'm just big about like family gatherings because, you know, it's just a reason to actually enjoy yourself. So that's fun. Um, but, you know, it's just a enjoyable time of year. Uh, the weather's starting to get pretty ass. <laughs> it gets worse into like, you know, December. So glad I didn't choose that godforsaken month. No, I'm just kidding. That was my number one pick. But uh, no, it's it's just all around a good month. Obviously, Thanksgiving football is, you know, the precipice of normal football watching. So certainly it make, in- makes Thanksgiving enjoy. good. It does. Um, I am going- Oh, with your next draft. pick? Yes, I'm going to draft July. That was the next one on my board. July 4th is the sexy ass holiday. It's right in the middle of summer. So it's great to be able to travel everywhere because everywhere is great weather. And then it's an excuse to eat unhealthy red meats, like sausages, hot dogs, barbecue. So super excited about that. Um, you know, again, it's summertime. So you get to tan too, if you are into that. It's good for everybody. Yeah, that was a good pick. That was going to be my next Firework. pick. I figured you would have probably went there, but it is what it is. I'm going to go with June. That's kind of my uh, back burner month if July got taken. Uh, June kind of begins summer, essentially. Yeah. And, and I mean, <laughs> it's not like, I feel like July, at least where, where I'm from, it kind of that's when it's like the most unbearably hot. I don't mind that too much though. July yeah. or June, it's a little bit better here, but still like, Dude, we were just 105 a couple of days ago. It's the it's like the South Midwest yeah. area. It it is what it is, but it, it's beach weather. It's suns out, guns out. It it just signals like, hey, school's officially done for some people, mm -hmm. and it begins that just it, it's a it's a vacation period. It, it's a great June and July are just great options. So I'm taking June here. Yeah, June's awesome. Um, room. so I'm pretty passionate about the three months I hate. So okay. I'm taking May here. I like May. Mm. I think, uh, I think that's when you're firmly in like, okay, it's no longer cold. It's that, Hey, maybe, oh, maybe I have to put on a, a hoodie, but I'm still wearing shorts. It's yeah. that type of cold, not cold yep. at all. Uh, it might, it's, it's more spring than April. Okay. But hey, it's good time. The Kentucky Derby, it happens in, uh, May. Fun fact, my dad, on a side note, so my dad, my he's dad. a bit, he's a big handicapper, right? Okay. And like for horse racing and whatnot. So he, he future booked whoever won the Kentucky Derby this year. And it was a super close race. I can't remember the horse's name, but it was literally like nose to the wire. Okay. He, he put a hundred or 150 on a future book. He hit for 15,000. I was 99.9% like, of gamblers quit before they hit big. I was like, yo dad, why, wh where was the heads up? Where was the heads up? Can I help you? This is technically sponsored by underdog. So don't take that as betting <laughs> advice. Bet oh, legally, no, no. bet with you can, bet responsibly. <laughs> yeah, bet within your means, please. May is great golf weather. Yes, I'm a terrible golfer, but I I love I more so love the com camaraderie of like going out and just hanging with your boys, hanging yeah. with the boys. It's the same thing with fishing. I yeah. don't love fishing. I just love the f the friends, the the chilling. I I'm a I'm a big like I like to chill. Like I yeah. love just chilling. Mm. That's okay. So we have we have four months remaining, right? Uh, we have, I, I we have three months because you're you're about to uh make your last two, and I got one more. So what we have August, February, January. Yes, arguably I think the worst months. So I'll just say both. No, no, let's leave. No, some, no, yeah, 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 yeah. Say your yeah. first one, and then you can get to your second. I'm gonna draft August first, which I think August is that came month I like um it's especially in texas it's awful in terms of you know weather i knew that you weren't going to draft august but 
uh, you know, it's when the preseason starts. And this past year, I got to go with Caesar Williams, who was like a UDFA to the Rams, like, and got to like watch Deuce Vaughn play in person. And then Nathan Rourke make one of the most amazing throws I've ever seen in my life. Like, there's just, it's just cheap fun to where you can actually go to games and really enjoy yourself. And, you know, I think that's awesome. My girlfriend is born in August. So I'm also, I, I need to draft it. <laughs> but, you know, school starts. So screw y'all because I don't have to deal with that anymore. Hallelujah. Uh, but, you know, school usually starts around that time. Oh, uh, but, you know, the, weather, the weather's mid. Uh, but again, you know, everybody's going to be coming back. So if you are in school, you get to see all your friends again who were out of town. So uh, that's super cool as well. There's a lot to love about August, in my opinion, as well, because there's some people who also yeah. were traveling all summer who are finally getting back and having to settle down. You get to see them again. Yeah. I think um, August is caught, caught in a difficult spot. It like, is. Typically, you have July. It's the end of vacation September. time. School's about yeah. to start again. Football's not here yet. And yep. it, it, again, it's just caught in the middle of like, oh man. <laughs> <laughs> yep, I know. Well, I just, I love the preseason. Um, like I know a lot of people don't, but it's a, it's an ability, <laughs> especially for the Cowboys that gets sold out like every year and gets their tickets racked up to 300 bucks a piece. Like it's a way for me to be able to go watch games. And, you know, after studying the draft, it's a great way to see our draft guys be able to get some NFL time. So yeah, big fan of that. That's fun. Um, I'm very so, curious who you're going to, what you're going to take here. Yeah. I'm so, adamant about the worst month. So like. I'm, I'm going to be intrigued because these are my parents' birth months. So, you know, I'm uh, technically electing to crap on one of them. And both of them? I'm, technically both because we waited to the last part. Yeah, so that. like one's but, your mom's birth month, the other's your dad's? Yeah. Who do you love more? <laughs> <laughs> Who do I love more? Uh, no, love them both. But I mean, I think there's one that, has a stronger resonance to me. And technically this event bleeds over into February if you actually want to stay long enough, but I'm going to go January. Uh, first off, Alex, I think, I think that's the off. right pick. Yeah. There's more days off. So there's also that factor, um, you know, cause you got like new year's, so you get new year's party and then you also have parades and stuff. So that's cool. But the uh, senior bowl is at the end of January. And that was the best event that I've ever been to in my entire life. So, you know, that holds a special place in my heart. Yeah. Honestly, I was fine with February too, though. Yeah. I, I, I'm ready to just crap on February. Uh, also, <laughs> it's at the end of bowl season. You have the New Year's Six Bowls. You have uh, yep. New oh, Year's yeah. Day. Yep. So, like, there, there's some, there's a redeeming quality to January. I mean, there, the Super Bowl's in February, right? It is. I can't even remember. Yeah. It is. And you have 95% of fans pissed. <laughs> Their team didn't do hot diggity junk. Let me tell you why February sucks. By the way, it's my birth month. February. Oh, so that's cool. Listen, it's a month so bad so that are you a Pisces? it has... Huh? No, are you Aquarius. A I'm an Aquarius. Oh, okay. I'm a, I'm a oh, you're an girl, earlier time. I'm a girl with a bucket. So watch out. But listen, dude, the weather's the worst. I think this is where the weather is its most unreasonable. Yeah. yeah. It's like it's it's cold. And th typically this is when I think this, at least where I live, this is where the snow, like it actually can snow. And uh, it's, I hate it. I hate it so much. I think Valentine's Day is one of the worst holidays ever. Yeah. Oh, look. Wow. Yeah. Oh, look, it's a day of romance. Oh, fun fact. I'm married. I every any day could be a day of romance. I don't need just one yeah. freaking day to show love to my wife. I do that 365. <laughs> Is that where it depends on the days? year? It could be 366. You know what? Give or take. Give or take. I have off days someday. We're not perfect. <laughs> but you know it's what? so dumb, dude. It's so dumb. People yeah. start making a single awareness day and crap. You know what's interesting? Um, I have this thought about birthdays as well. We celebrate people and treat them really well for one day. And it's like we're giving people an excuse 
to actually be just treat people the way they should on every day like don't give people gifts every day but damn like treat people well like you know like it's you're giving people an excuse how to treat people better than they're currently doing yeah just that's why i love you day. alex you treat me like crap in february <laughs> that's fresh <laughs> after the senior bowl we have yep. the hottest takes you crap yep. on them Yep. I appreciate that about you, Alex. You treat me like yeah. crap on my birth month. Because it's a crappy Damn. month. It's a month so no, bad. No, no, no. It has the least amount of days it, of any other month. Because it's that bad. It's I mean, there's Mardi month. Gras. There's, it changes the amount of days every four years. So you get some variability there. It's trash, dude. You know, people get to who are born on February 29th get to celebrate their birthday like pretty much once every four years. Oh, so that's great. February is like, hey, you know that one day that people celebrate Add you on? So I'm taking it away for some time. Yeah. Dude. Oh, no. <laughs> Jenkins. He was born on a leap year. So he only gets uh, one every four years. So He's what? a Feb 29. So what? That's like the opposite of dog, like dog years. <laughs> it just <laughs> takes time away. Yeah. You're just like. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, yeah, I'm three years old. Like, what? Wow, you look old. It's like, no, I'm actually like 12, but yeah. you know, I was born a <laughs> <late> here. <laughs>